Greetings, engineers. So, Magni, signing in. Today, I'm glad to present to you a script created by the developers of Space Defense Systems Corporation, which is aimed at enhancing your operational capabilities and simplifying the controls of your grids, no matter how big or complicated they would be. The main purpose of this script is the display of vital information about the components and modules of your build on the LCD panels installed around your grid. This includes LCD displays on different functional blocks, including cockpits. Another function of the script is enabling players to alter the settings of functional blocks without entering the K menu. The control of functional blocks is carried out through custom menus set up by players using WASD buttons on a keyboard. The name of the script is SDS-OS, which stands for Space Defense Systems Operational Script. The process of installation and setting up the script will be shown in this video, utilizing the platform on your screen, which is built entirely for demonstrational purposes. Without any further ado, let me show you how to install the script on your grid. In order to install the script, you need to be subscribed to SDS-OS in a Steam Workshop. Open the menu of Programmable block and copy the script into the operational environment through Edit and Browse Scripts buttons. For the next step, copy the argument portion of the script, complete the compilation of the script and paste the arguments into the custom data argument environment as shown on your screen. And in order to finalize this step, run the script with the arguments by pressing the Run button. Congratulations! Now you have a working script on your grid. In order to script to function, you'll need to install a cockpit, control seat or a remote control block on your grid. Please be noted that the script is case-sensitive, which means that you will need to add a specific prefix to any block you want to control with the script. Also, you will need to add this specific prefix to a main section of the script, as demonstrated on your screen right now. For the sake of this video, the selected prefix is SDS-OS, but the operators will be free to select any prefix they would desire. After the submission of a prefix to the script, you'll need to run the script with the setup argument. The setup argument is used anytime you make any alterations to the script. After adding the prefix to the cockpit and running the script with the setup argument, the script will automatically detect the cockpit and will show up the script menu on the first display of the cockpit, which is usually the central one. The same procedure applies to the LCD panels installed on your build. The scripted control of the components of your build can be done through the WASD buttons. This function is achieved by dragging the programmable block into the toolbar selecting the Run option and submitting the WASD argument. You can also control the scripts with the toolbar options. For that, just drag the programmable block into the toolbar and select the arguments of up, down, left and right. The WASD control is by default set to auto-disable upon exiting the cockpit with a true argument in a script. This means that when you leave the cockpit, the script will be disabled automatically. And upon return to the cockpit, you will be able to control your grid with the WSD buttons as usual. As can be seen on the example on your screen, the activation of a WSD control of the script is indicated by the flashing red triangle at the top right corner of your dedicated LCD panel. With the deactivation of WSD control, the indication ceases. In order to display the characteristics and stats of functional blocks such as batteries, the operator needs to create subgroups which will be shown on a dedicated LCD panels. This can be done by creating groups of functional blocks in K-menu, or selecting single functional blocks and naming them appropriately. As mentioned before, the script is case-sensitive, which means you need to pay close attention to how you name the blocks. The groups in the script are numbered consequentially, starting from zero. The groups are numbered from top to bottom, which means the zero would be the top one. In order to create the subgroup, you will need to add the desired group name under the corresponding number. Then add the desired functional blocks or functional block groups. 
and add the required argument for the function of the display group. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? The functional arguments can be found as a paragraph in an actual script in programmable block or on a Steam Workshop page of a SDSOS script. In this demonstration, the selected functional blocks are batteries, which are grouped under the name All Batteries, and cargo containers, which are grouped under the name All Cargo. The functional argument in this case is Show, which enables the display of combined charge of all batteries in the group. The same procedure is applied to cargo containers. Create the display group. Add the selected functional blocks to the group. Create two display groups for each of the containers. Remember, the script is case-sensitive, so be sure to use the correct punctuation, which is shown in this example. Then add the corresponding blocks. Recompile the script. Take time to admire your achievements. And enjoy the display of real-time container capacity. The functions of the script can be controlled not only through the cockpits or remote control blocks, but also through button panels. In order to achieve this, just place a programmable block into the toolbar of a button panel with the required functional argument. With the use of this script, any type of information can be displayed on the LCD panels on your grid. Cargo containers, energy blocks, antennas, weaponry capacity, block damage status, you name it. This script can be used with any type of block in the game. We hope that you will be able to utilize our creation to the full capacity and bring your builds to the next level with the SDS OS script. To see the full guide on how to use the script, please visit our Steam Workshop page, which can be accessed with the link below. Also, don't forget to check out our other creations, they are cool too. This was So Magni from Space Defense Systems Corporation. See you among the stars, engineers.